It's Thursday, June 13th here in Seoul. Welcome to Korea's Daily News from Korea Now. I'm Debbie Wan. South Korean President Moon Jae-in said he hopes to meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un before U.S. President Donald Trump visits South Korea later this month. Speaking at the Oslo Forum in Norway on Wednesday, President Moon stressed that he's ready to have talks with Kim at any time and that the timing is up to Kim. Moon also emphasized the urgency of Pyongyang and Washington resuming formal dialogue, warning that the two sides can lose momentum for dialogue if the current stalemate in nuclear talks is further drawn out. Meanwhile, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un sent a condolence message and flowers to South Korea via his sister on Wednesday over the death of former First Lady Lee Hee-ho. Kim's sister Kim Yo-jung met with a group of South Korean officials at the border village of Panmunjom to make the delivery. After the meeting, Chung woo yong the head of South Korea's Presidential National Security Office, told reporters that Kim expressed hope to continue inter-Korean cooperation in honoring the efforts made by Lee Hee-ho for the reconciliation and cooperation of the Korean people. B.I., the leader of K-pop boy band Icon, has officially left the band on Wednesday on allegations of buying illegal drugs three years ago. This all started when a local report said earlier in the day that B.I. had bought LSD pills in 2016 and that the police detected signs of the transaction but did not launch an investigation. The report also released images of B.I.'s reconstructed mobile chat conversation with a drug dealer, which showed him saying, I do it because I want to be a genius. As the allegations spiraled, B.I. announced on his Instagram that he will leave Icon and apologize to his fans and other members of his group. While admitting to buying the drugs, B.I. said he was too afraid to use them. And his management, YG Entertainment, offered a public apology over the drug allegations and ended its contract with B.I. And there's a new claim that Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, who was killed in Malaysia two years ago, was an informant for the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency, or the CIA. That's what Washington Post journalist Anna Fifield wrote in her new book about Kim Jong-un, titled The Great Successor. The book says that Kim Jong-nam usually met his handlers in Singapore or Malaysia, and once the North Korean leader found out that his half-brother was providing information to American spies, he ordered for Kim Jong-nam to be killed, leading to his assassination at a Malaysian airport in February 2017. The book also mentions that Kim Jong-nam had a very close relationship with his uncle and top regime advisor Chang sung Tech, who was executed by the North Korean leader in 2013. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can check out the official Yonam News website, link down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.